This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today we're speaking to Stefan Kemmer from Bruca and he's going to tell us about that Yanova Iris combination. Yeah, hello, so let me introduce you to the uh, Bruca Iris Raman combination. It basically consists of uh, two parts. We have the uh, Innova AFM sitting here on the left side. We have on the right side a uh, Raman confocal microscope from uh, Renishaw. And what we're doing is we're combining these two. We're combining these tools using hardware and software. What we're doing on the hardware side is we're coupling the uh, laser beam out on the side, guiding it down a series of mirrors into an objective looking at about a 30 degree angle. That objective illuminates our AFM tip, um, generates an enhanced uh, field so that we can uh, do what's uh, referred to as tip enhanced Raman spectroscopy. We generate a Raman signal, we collect the Raman signal back with the same objective and guide it through the same path into the spectrometer, disperse it and display it, <coughs> detect it and display it uh, with a camera. Features in the, uh, in the arm we have here um, are obviously we, we have to be able to adjust the arm in three dimensions. We can adjust the arm in X, Y and Z by means of a, uh, of a trackball and we use that to manipulate the objective to position the laser beam onto the, uh, onto the AFM tip. We are aided by a built-in uh, CCD camera into the system and we also have a, a built-in light source. Other than the arm, both systems are completely independent and can be used uh, as standalone uh, systems. On the software side, we have our Iris software here, which runs parallel to our standard AFM software. And that software allows us to take an AFM image that we just recently acquired. We can see here an AFM image, a topographic image, and we can overlay a series of points either in form of a line um, or in form of a, of a rectangle or in various other shapes over that image generate a number of sampling points where we want to generate um, Raman spectra and then transmit these spectra to the Raman microscope and ask the Raman microscope to take a spectra at each of these points so that it allows us to uh, generate AFM and Raman data at the same time, at the same location, which allows you to correlate uh, topographic and chemical information on the same sample. What you see here is a uh, video image of our AFM cantilever coming from the top. And you can see the Raman laser illuminating the area around the AFM tip at this point. And the sample is in the background. Okay, and Stefan, the, the sample surface obviously has contours and, and surface irregularities. How does the system how does the system manage to take accurate Raman measurements across the surface? Okay, excellent point, Cameron. So um, what we do in that specific system is we have an AFM tip and we focus our Raman laser onto the AFM tip. In order now to generate a topographic and a chemical map we move the sample around in X, in Y and in Z. By doing that, we keep that alignment between the AFM tip and the Raman laser constant at all times, but we still generate that relative movement between the tip and the sample, which allows us to generate maps of the surface. And we can generate maps uh, down to a few hundred nanometers, window size up to 100 by 100 micrometers. Okay, there are other AFM Raman systems on the market. What's different about your system? There are other combinations on the market. Um, that system is a, is a very stable system. The uh, Renishaw system is a high performance uh, 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 microscope. Our combination is proven to work really well. One thing you have to, uh, you have to take care of, um, when you combine these systems, you always make a compromise. Um, you're putting two systems together. Um, the AFM might partly um, you might disturb the optical access a little bit 
and on the on the Raman side you have to be careful that you don't introduce vibrations to the AFM side. So you want to be able, uh, you want to be sure to start with a very stable system in the beginning and a lot of systems on the market are not stable to start out with. That's why we selected Innova because that is a system that is very resilient to external vibration and a very stable system to for that specific application. All right then, Stefan, if anybody wants more information about the Unova Iris system, they can find that on your website. Yes, absolutely. You can go to uh, brukaxs.com or to bruka.com and get more information. Contact us. We're happy to answer any questions. All right, Stefan, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Unova Iris combined AFM Raman system. Excellent. Thank you.